Hey everyone, Goldie here with another look at King Booker. Uh, I mentioned in my preview video I was going to play around with this double red purple two move set a little bit, and um, I have, and I wanted to show you um, my results and my findings. So basically my thought process for this was to do a gem damage build based on his purple and red gems. Um, now unfortunately his red gems aren't his secondary color, those are yellow. But with the move set, he's breaking red, so I decided to boost both of them. Um, at 5 silver, max level 240, with no hollow stars. Um, the base damage for his purple gems is 7,760, and for his red gems, it's 5,573. And take a look at the moves. We're going to be turning the entire board into traps, and then we're going to be destroying purples and reds, hence why I'm focusing on red gems and not yellow. A uh, quick look at the entourage. It is on your screen, but I'm going to show it anyways. Um, so we have 20% more gem damage for all gems from Slick Rick. Uh, we have Showboat Wendy because she gives 20% more gem damage to red and purple gems. Um, so we're at 40%. We're going to do another 20 for purple with Showboat Lacey and another 15 for red with Typhoon. So We've got a 60% boost to the purple gems and a 55% boost to the red gems. And then for the belt, we are doing a full Fury build. So we have 40% gem damage, all gem damage, um, from the two Fury sets. We have 5% from the belt bonus. We have a tier 4 gem damage percent metal that adds 30 percent so you'll see here we get a 75 percent boost to um, purple gems from the belt and the metals and 77 percent to red because of substats so in total we're going to be boosting our purple gems by 135 percent and we're going to be boosting our red gems by 132%. You'll notice I have the um, uh, what the rock is cooking plate, kind of just for funsies. It's not super necessary, but I figured it might help in a dodge or if for some reason um, we run out of purple gems on the board. Um, this way we can just keep breaking red gems instead. It'll fill the purple move that breaks red. Um, so if we break two purples, and can't fill the purple move, we can break red, fill the purple move, keep breaking red until we have enough purples on the board. Um, so the, the game plan for this is going to be, um, let's hope we can get the opponent to cascade and see what kind of damage we can get. Um, taking a quick look at the gem damage here. So all strapped up, the purple gems went from 7,760 to 18,200, and the red went from 5,573 to 12,900. Now we are going up against a strapped opponent, so that number is going to reduce. I will be taking that into consideration, and we'll take a peek at what we're actually starting with when the match starts. So with our Chirpricks, it means everything's going to be ready to go on the next turn. So let's just swipe randomly. Now what I'm going to do is try to move the pin bar as much as possible before hitting the traps. Excellent. And that way he'll have more to break when he's kicking out. Okay. 
Let's do that and freeze them. So you broke six, broke seven. Putting us at 112,942. I'm going to just keep swiping. And the board's gonna keep freezing, that's fine. Casual 830,000 uh, move, you know. Excellent, tags out. So that should be, good God. Um, so that should be stacked. Excellent. So we've gone from 15,039 damage to 153,078. So we got like 10 stacked traps. And with some board cascading, that could be even nastier. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to pick them apart and, and win the match. Our red gems went from 10,615 to 108,016. So what we're going to do is just destroy three at a time and slowly um, destroy three gems until he dies. Three hundred something thousand. Four hundred fifty nine thousand. Crazy. Um, yeah, let's hit this again for move damage. Because, like, the problem with putting on a trainer that destroys more gems is you don't get to bounce between the two moves and just slowly pick them apart, which is the way that I prefer to do this. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Thanks for coming. 1.1 mil. So we finally found a use for the Scopely Cascades. Booker T will make you pay. My one gripe is that the animation of turning the entire board into traps and turning the entire board into freeze gems takes too long and it's hard on the eyes. I would prefer just like a blanket animation or like a stamp or something that's just like one motion, stamp the board with the gem modifier. That would be my only suggestion. But um, yeah, I need this card on my roster. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching. Take care.